welcome back to another special episode of Captain Kirk Productions. Today, once again on the show, we have Dr. Burba. Turn your head and cough. And Drake. These pretzels are making me thirsty! Really good introduction there. Okay, so this is part two of a three-part CGC submission series. How big is the submission? Huge! It is at least 40 books. It's wow. a big submission series. So, like I said, this is part two. Uh, first video we had featured mainly uh, some Justice League comics, some Mr. Miracle, some other stuff sprinkled in there. Uh, in this video, we are going to be featuring Justice League characters primarily. So, uh, let's start us off. First, we have Wonder Woman 160, which is the first appearance of Cheetah in the Silver Age. I love Cheetah. I think she's a great character. And I think you said she would be in a movie recent or yep. coming up. Wonder Woman 1984, uh, Kristen Wiig is actually playing Cheetah. So. I like Kristen Wiig. She's really funny. Yeah, she is pretty funny. I've seen her in some serious roles. Like Despicable Me 2 and 3. That's probably her best work. Yeah. But uh, she was in... Walter Mitty. Walter Mitty, The Martian, some other things. And Burma's she's actually a really good her. actress. Yeah, yeah, I like her a lot. Apparently, wow. I didn't know you were that big of a fan, but... Uh, anyway, I'm really interested to see uh, how that turns out. Man, I really like that purple cover as well. Next, we have Superman 199. And you guys can tell me why this is such a uh, uh, key issue. So, uh, this is the first time Superman and Flash race each other in the comics. So, uh, I think overall, there might be more. Superman wins, guys. Uh, Superman is Superman for a reason. He's faster than a speeding bullet. It's dumb, though, because Flash is the fastest man on Earth. So it doesn't care about bullets and how fast bullets can go. Flash is the fastest man on Earth. Hands down, he should beat Superman. Nice. If, you, if you are the Flash and you're known for your speed, you should beat Superman. That's his only superpower. That's why, that's why Flash is a subpar character. Because Superman is faster than Flash. No, not at all. So, spoiler alert. Um, in this particular instance when they race, I believe they tie. That's stupid. Uh, even if they tie, even if they tie, it's doesn't like that must. make doesn't that make Flash yes. a subpar character? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I've, case rested. Yeah. Continue. So, case rested. <laughs> so put it to sleep. Yeah, I feel like Flash should be him, but I don't. I mean, that's just my opinion. Right. Now you were saying something interesting about yeah. Superman. I hate that they just throw Superman in everything. It's <laughs> tell us why. They they just it's like oh we got this comic we're gonna introduce some character oh yeah we got Superman in it you guys wanna buy it right <laughs> or they go on a little because he's the best Superman or superhero. I mean yeah it's just too much. <laughs> yeah. Just too well, much. What's interesting about your theory is that this is Superman's run, so that would be Get why Superman appears in the book. <laughs> Take him, him out of his own run. Take him out of his own run. I don't care. I'm tired of seeing Superman in all these comics. So, I guess what? I'm going to comic. That's what Superman is if people buy it. I applaud you for your bravery of saying that out loud. Yeah. Really appreciate that. Let's opinion. take these down. Next comics. <laughs> So right, you can leave. Of, uh, you can leave a few up if you want. Or speaking one. of no. Superman okay. appearing, taking them all down. I don't want to see right, them. Right. Superman appearing in comics. You know, he did make his first appearance in Action Comics number one. It actually took them quite a few issues to realize people bought Action Comics because of Superman. They're like, oh, we need to start putting this guy in everything. So everything. Yeah, everything. Even his own run, they put him in his own run. Yeah. So, all right, guys. He ties in his own run. Yeah. All right, guys. He Here's Flash 123 and uh, Flash um, 120 or 139. Sorry. So I can tell you that <laughs> uh, I really like. I'm a big fan of uh, Flash 123 and uh, not a huge fan of 139. And I can explain why. But first, I'll start with why I'm not a big fan of 139. So this debuts um, Flash's really alter ego, uh, Professor Zoom. Probably the worst character ever produced in Marvel or DC Comics ever. Except for Green Lantern. Ex well, except maybe for, except for Green Lantern. I yeah, agree. Yeah, Geo. Nobody yeah. likes Geo. Or... Yeah, Green Lantern or Green Arrow, really. But I would say, I mean, he's not even faster than Flash. So 
He's not like Bizarro. And Flash is a subpar superhero. Oh my gosh. I just don't like the character. Okay. Sorry. But you can tell me why on 123 is... I mean, I think it's an awesome It's comic. really cool. So 123 is the first appearance of the Golden Age Flash and the Silver Age. And it's also significant because it is the first time there's mention of a multiverse. <laughs> so this Sound is effects. a very significant book. Uh, in an 8.0, it goes for around $3,600, and this is a really high-conditioned book, so I'm really interested to see what that comes back as. So, that's pretty pretty sick. So, do you take issue with any of these books? Do you hate any of either of them? I Superman in them? No. Then I'm good. Okay, good. That's, that's how we read it, I guess. Alright, <clears throat> next we have Batman 189. Ooh, I like that one. Yeah, that's good. Batman 181. And then Batman 171. Alright, so uh, Batman 189, 171. We have the first Riddler, first Scarecrow in the Silver Age. Uh, also, we have 181, which is the first ever appearance of Poison Ivy. Yeah. So there's been a lot of, uh, seems like there's been a lot of hype recently about this book for whatever reason. So it's been going up in value. Um, so it's, I mean, it's obviously a key, key issued book, um, but it's definitely, I've noticed a lot of people really wanting to collect this particular book. Uh, and Eric, I think we saw this at the Laughing Ogre comic shop. I'm not 181. We saw the Scarecrow. The Scarecrow. Yeah, we saw that one. Yep. It was high up on a shelf. I really liked it. I was like, Ooh, Kurt, that one looks really cool. Do you have it? He's like, oh, I think I have it. I only have like a hundred million comics. I have them all. And I was like, Ooh, I should maybe buy it. And I thought about it and I was like, no, I'm not going to. And kind of kicking myself for it. I wish I would have purchased it. I think the price was right on it that I could have gotten it graded and maybe a nice little thing in my collection or even sold it. Yeah, you could have started your own Burba, Dr. Burba. I, could, I could, have, could have been the first one. You could have been Captain Burba Productions. Could have. Captain you could have rivaled. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I think uh, you know, Poison Ivy is such a cool character. You know, iconic. And, you know, I love that comic. And even... Um, uh, Scarecrow, one of my favorite Batman villains, you know, with with probably uh, Clayface. So you know, some of the coolest comics here. I, Riddler, and eh, you know, whatever. But uh, I I think you know these these two comics are just super cool. There was a rumor back in the day that Leonardo DiCaprio was up for the role of the Riddler in the third Christopher Nolan movie. So that would have been been pretty cool if they would have gone that direction. I think he would have done a really good job with that character. But to finish off Batman com arc of Batman Comics one fifty five, the first uh, Silver Age appearance of uh, Penguin, and then uh, the Jimmy Olsen's um, what was it one thirty four? Yep. Go ahead. So go. Jimmy Olsen one thirty four first appearance of Darkseid. He appears kind of on like a television in like one of the panels. Uh, I have three copies of this. It's uh, kind of like the end scene credits for a modern day movies, right? Like an after credits type of thing. You're, you're exactly. Saying? Yeah. Yeah. You mean like in panel scene? Like an in panel? <laughs> yeah, you could describe it as that, I guess. Uh. Um, but um, like I said, I had three copies of this. Uh, I had Neil Adams sign one of them at C2E2 back in February. Uh, I believe that one came back at 9.0. And uh, I'm really interested to see what these two come back as. Uh, Dark Side, uh, from what I've been hearing, will be appearing in the New Gods movie that will be coming out in a couple of years. So uh, excited about that. And then the Penguin. Penguin, of course, just classic Silver Age, first Silver Age appearance of the Penguin. So really cool. I kind of interested to know where he got this dragon from, but yeah. uh, kind of a, a cool cover. When I think of the Penguin, I think of dragons. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you can leave. Yeah, I'm leave not. I'm taking them all. No, 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 leave one of them. Uh, okay, so uh, rounding it out for the Marvel fans, we got Spider-Man 101, first appearance of Morbius, the living vampire. Morbius. That will be played by Jared Leto uh, in an upcoming movie that's going to get released, uh, I think maybe next year. We just hope that it does better than uh, Suicide Squad. <laughs> yeah, I've not seen Suicide Squad. Yeah, I don't blame you. You guys make it look terrible. Do you know Will Smith was in that movie? I always forget that. He's Deadshot. Yeah, I always forget that. Yeah. Why do you forget it? Will Smith used to be amazing. He still is. Well, amazing. because it was a terrible DC movie. No. Yeah. It was, it was well, let's just say we hope that in the next few movies. You hope more be better. <laughs> yeah, right. It can, but we'll see how that happens. All right. 
Um, and then, what's the, the last book? Amazing Adventures 11, uh, the first uh, furry beast. Um, furry. Furry, you know. I. So, so we, when you saw the first furry beast, you thought of me and wanted to buy this for me. Is that what you're saying? Oh, yeah. I love the beast. I thought of Captain Kirk, and we, we decided to buy this for him. I think, you know, uh, the comic store grade this is like 7 7 five. Yep. And, you know, looking through it, we don't see any flaws, so we, we were hoping to get it. It's going to be a 9 8. A 9 8. <laughs> Maybe an 11 0. If it's 11 0, guys, that would be sick. The yeah. first ever 11 0 yeah. in uh, CGC history. If I they, would be surprised. If they said, like, this is the best looking book we've ever had, we're creating <laughs> a whole other grading system yeah. for it, that would be amazing. Well, that's what we get for you. Yeah, I appreciate that. So, really interested to see how that comes back as. Um, so, uh, Dr. Burba, I didn't forget this time. Would you like to talk about our giveaway? <laughs> well, actually, I think we did forget it in the intro. Well, that's okay. Go ahead and talk about it now. So. Um, hopefully you watch this entire thing because we're doing a giveaway. This will be our third giveaway. What if they didn't watch it the whole time? Then they're not going to well, be in Then this. hopefully they watch this part of it right now. And they didn't watch the beginning. So, we have a giveaway Let's comic. It. Yeah, just to watch it again. Just want to see the end. I mean, the end's always They wanted right? to see how it turned out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, in this episode of Captain Care Productions, we are giving away DC Nation issue... Zero. Is that better than one and two? <laughs> yeah, it's the prequel to one and two. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, on the cover, you got the Joker, you have Superman, <laughs> then you have Flash, Wonder Woman, Superman, uh, Aquaman, Batman, and Martian Manhunter. Martian Manhunter. <laughs> Who is Martian Manhunter? Don't ask. Martian me. Manhunter. All right. Everyone knows who Martian Manhunter is. He's like Marvin the Martian, except better. I like Marvin the Martian. All right. Martian. Tell the people, Kirk. So, I got this on Free Comic Book Day a couple years ago. Uh, now it can make its way into your home. So um, has there ever been a free comic that's really like kind of increasing value? Uh, that's a good question. Actually, uh, Umbrella Academy was released on Free Comic Book Day, from what mm -hmm. I understand. Um, and it actually, you know, with the addition of the Netflix series and the popularity there, uh, yeah. became a valuable book. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of kind of cool. I still haven't finished that series. Yeah, I haven't watched it. So I, I think that says episodes. something about the Netflix series. Huh? I mean, none of us I finished it. it. I didn't finish it. I didn't finish it. I didn't really start Anyway, it. <laughs> hopefully you finish this video because you can win <laughs> this comic here. Tell them how they can win it. Okay, so you have to <laughs> yeah, answer two questions win. correctly. Okay. And these questions have a similar theme in them. What is it? So we mentioned that they're going to be doing a video uh, with the living vampire with Morbius. 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 Um, he's going to be played by Jared Leto. Jared Leto is also a uh, artist and a band, so mm -hmm. please put what band he's in. And additionally, the creator of the Umbrella Academy is in a band. So put down the band that that person was in and submit both of those in one comment. And if you're right, we'll put you in a raffle for winning this comic here. So this is a two-parter. Uh, you need to get both of these correct in order to win a free comic. This free comic. Yes. That we touched too. Yeah. And if you want us to sign it, we'll sign it. But no one from CGC will witness it, so we will not get a yellow label. Yeah, that's so, right. Uh, that's at your discretion. I could rip off the page, you could get a purple label. Green label. Green. You hate green, remember? Oh, yeah, green label. Sorry. You can scribble on it, and it can be a restoration. How about that? Sure. I will right, we'll do that for you. Or we can just leave it as it is and send it to them. Exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, well, this is going to conclude the second video in our series of uh, CGC submissions. Um, so stay tuned for our third video, where Dr. Burba and Drake are going to pick from a very oh, large good. stack of comics. Uh, they're going to do a comic draft. They will have four picks each, and they will pick those pick four comics and each of those comics will be submitted uh, with this large submission and also you the fans will be able to pick two comics from that stack as well of what is left over that will also go into the submission so stay tuned for that that'll be dropping next week so be on the lookout for that uh, lots of interactive videos coming so I'm really proud and excited for that I can't wait for that video exactly so guys Appreciate uh, all the support. Thank you for watching, and uh, we will talk to you and see you soon. Thank you.